It's day 302 of the 29th year and beyond. Yesterday, uh, we had talked about uh, decay in a marriage, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And how things can go wrong. Um, but you, hold on, you're feeling better? You're no longer numb? You're... Yes, I'm not numb. A little sore, but not numb. Oh. <laughs> but yesterday, we talked about how uh, uh, decay can enter into a marriage. And, and that's, you know, naturally when things are not going well, things may be going wrong. Um, which made me think about a LTD song, Where Did We Go Wrong? Oh, did we go wrong? Yes. Now won't you tell me what went wrong with love and maybe we can fix it. Where did we go wrong? Now won't you tell me? Let me see. Won't you tell me what's wrong? Oh, with love. Yeah. And he goes on to say, it doesn't matter who is right mm -hmm. or wrong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who's to blame. We both have to swallow our pride to make this love strong. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, when you're in any kind of love relationship in, in general, even with your children, um, a lot of times you will have to um, swallow your pride, um, suck it up, in order to get to the root of what is really causing the challenge. And too many times, you know, when things are not going well, uh, if people are not operating from a place of love, which more times than not, they tend to uh, abandon those loving places because they're looking for something one to blame. Right. Right. And we know that as we have referenced so many times, First Corinthians, the 13th chapter, one of the things about love is it keeps no record of wrongs, mm -hmm. meaning it's not going to blame. It's always going to uh, it's always going to trust, always going to hope, always going to persevere. It always does those things. Right. So but so it doesn't matter who is right or who is wrong. Right. It doesn't matter who's to blame. Mm -hmm. We both have to swallow our pride. You have to be willing to say, you know what? What's most important is not who may have implemented the issue, the challenge, the concern, but what do we need to do to be able to resolve this? Yeah, because if you make the decision, if you make the conscientious decision, decision that you're going to continue on with something, that you're going to um, stay in a relationship that has had some fragmentation, then you can't go back every time there's a small little problem and say, well, you did such and such. Okay, you already forgave them for that. So at that point, it's, it's gone. Right. And it cannot come back. You can't keep entering back into the relationship unless it's a repeated behavior. So with that said, you know, getting back to the song, Where Did We Go Wrong? When it says we both have to swallow our pride to make this love strong, then it says, and we can conquer anything mm -hmm. together. Right. And if our love was meant to be, we'll find a way to save it. We'll build a road of love. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. And that's the thing. Understanding, you know what? <clears throat> At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what went wrong and, and again, uh, how you got to that place. What matters is what do we need to do to keep our love strong? Right. Right? And so it does require humility swallowing that pride. I may not have done anything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, because, again, love... A, is not about placing blame or whatever. Love is about making certain that you move forward in a healthy way, yes. right? That what's in the best interest of you as a married couple, that's what you get to so that you can, uh, you, you address it, but you resolve it and yes. you move forward. And just like Gail said, it's not going to be something that you continue to keep going back to, mm -hmm. back to, back, because then it's not resolved, right? You've not let it go. <laughs> yeah. But we can conquer anything together. Right. When you allow individuals or situations or circumstances to become between you, it is divisive. And then, you know, united we stand, divided we fall, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where did we go wrong? When things are not working out in your marriage the way uh, uh, that are in the best interest of you being healthy and whole, then yeah, ask the question, where did we go wrong? But then move towards doing what you need to do to repair it, building that road of love because that's where you want to travel, on the road of love. That's right. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Bye.